everyone, this is Noble H1 Stack, and today we are here with another American Legion's Mathematics League problem from 2014. Individual round, problem number 5. The sequence of words, an, is defined as follows. The first one is x, the second one is o, and for n is greater than or equal to 3, an is an minus 1 plus the reverse of an minus 2. For example, we have ox, then oxo, then oxoxo, and then OXO, XO, OXO. Compute the number of palindromes in the first 1,000 terms of the sequence. So we have the following. The first term is X, the second term is O, and then we have AN minus 1 plus the reverse of AN minus 2. So, what is the pattern we see here? A1 is a palindrome. A2 is a palindrome, because they only have one term, so they have to be palindromes. And A3 is not a palindrome. A4 is a palindrome. A5 is a palindrome. A6 is not a palindrome. So the pattern we see here is P, P, N, P, P, N. And we could prove this if we want to, if we have enough time to do both 5 and 6 within 10 minutes. But we're not going to prove it because we probably don't have enough time because this competition is kind of in a rush. So if you do have time, then you should prove it. You should prove it to check your answer. But we're not going to prove it because we don't have that time. I mean, we will, but after we get the answer. So... This, we have a not palindrome every three terms. So we have three, six, nine. The third term is not a palindrome. The sixth term is not a palindrome. We're going to predict that the ninth term is in a palindrome all the way up to 999. Nine, nine. So these are not palindromes. And uh, three, we have three, three, three not palindromes. We have 1,000 overall terms. These we have 1,000 terms. So that minus three, three, three is six, six, seven. And that is the correct answer. So we just did this in like, I don't know, less than a minute, based off of a pattern we saw. We didn't actually prove that our answer was correct, and it is, but yeah, we did it in less than a minute. So now we can focus on problem number six. Okay. So, how are we going to prove this pattern now that we've done the problem? And how, 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 why is this pattern true? We're going to prove it, actually, by induction. So... What is the base case? The base case is A1 is a palindrome. We know that's true. A2 is a palindrome. We know that's true. A3 is not a palindrome. We know that's true because we know what A1, A2, and A3 are. So that's the base case. We've proven the base case. Now the induction case. We are going to assume AN minus 2 is a palindrome. We are going to assume AN minus 1 is a palindrome. We are going to assume AN is not a palindrome. And from that, we are going to prove a n plus 1 is a palindrome, a n plus 2 is a palindrome, and a n plus 3 is not a palindrome. So this is a proof by induction. So we have a base case. Okay, this is our base case. And then we assume the a n. We assume that it's true for p, p, n, for the last three terms. And then we're going to prove that it's true for the next three terms. Okay? So what is... First, what is a n in terms of a n minus 2 and a n minus 1? We already wrote it up here. It's a n minus 1 plus the reverse of a n minus 2. Okay. So, that's not a palindrome. We've, we've already said that. So, with the reverse of a n minus 2, since it's a palindrome, it's just a n minus 2. So, now for a n plus 1, we take a n. Put it here. And then we take the reverse of a n minus 1. That. So what is the reverse of this? Is this a palindrome? So it's just that. So if you look at this, it goes a n minus 1, and then a n minus 2, a n minus 2 to the middle, so it's a palindrome, and then a n minus 1. So this is a palindrome. If you, it, it if you write it in reverse, it's the exact same. So that's a palindrome. Um, and then we have a n plus 2, which is a n minus, a n plus 1, plus the reverse of a n plus 2. So what is the reverse of this? Well, the reverse of this is the reverse, let's just, you just switch this, and then you have to take the reverse of them. So you have to take the reverse of both of them. So first we switch the order, because here it's a n minus 1 and then a n minus 2. Here it's a n minus 2 and then a n minus 1. And then we have to take the reverse of both of them. But they're palindromes, so the reverse of both of them is just the same. So now we have 
a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 plus a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 plus a n minus 1. This is also a palindrome. That's a palindromic pattern. It's backwards and forwards the same. And then we do it for a n plus 2. Plus. Oh no, sorry. Um, I suppose to put this first. a n plus, plus 2. A -A. It, uh, well, we're proving that a n plus 3 is not a palindrome right now. I'm, I'm putting a n plus 2. And then I'm putting the reverse of a n plus 1. We already said that this was a palindrome. So this is just the same as the original. And now we need to prove that this is not a palindrome. This is a lot of terms. We actually have 8 terms here. But, so if you look carefully, the first term and the last term are the same. They're both a n minus 1. The second term and the second to last term are the same. They're both a n minus 2. The third term and the third to last term are the same. They're both a n minus 1. And the fourth term and the fifth term are not the same. They're a n minus 2 and then a n minus 1. So since those terms are not the same, we have not a palindrome because the backwards and forwards are not the same. If you look here, um, you can actually see the first in a6, you actually see the first letter and the last letter are the same, the second letter and the second to last letter are the same, the third letter and the third to last letter are the same, but the fourth and fifth letters differ, so that's not a palindrome. And the same thing here. So now we've proven that then if we have the last three terms are palindrome, palindrome, not palindrome, the next three terms are not pal palindrome, palindrome, not palindrome, so we've proven the pattern, we've proven that it's palindrome, palindrome, not palindrome, 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 not palindrome, 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 not palindrome, and then on and on and on. So we've proven this pattern, and that's it. So now that we know this pattern, we know that the answer must be 667, because there's a not palindrome every three terms, and that's it. Yeah. And you can, like, play around with this, like, you can uh, um, figure out uh, another cool things about this, like, um, the length of a1 is a1, the length of a2 is 1, the length of a3 is 2, the length of a4 is 3, the length of a5 is 5, the length of a6 is 8, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. What sequence is that? I wonder. Fibonacci. So yeah, that's the Fibonacci sequence. So yeah, I, I thought that was a cool problem. Very, very easy. So, so everyone knows, the answer is 667. Okay. And yeah, um, that's basically it. I'll probably do problem six too. So yeah. Um so yeah, that's this that's it for this video. Have a fun doing math.